what you do when you do stuff like this is you open Pandora's box. Mm -hmm. And now everybody next to you is going to be evaluated a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. King everybody, Los, everybody. King Los, I saw you in that video, bro. Yeah. Wait, what video? <laughs> hey, there's a video that came out probably like two days after um, Diddy put out his apology. Quote, I'm doing that with air quotations mm -hmm. <laughs> on Instagram. And for those of you who don't know, King Los is a really gifted, talented rapper. I also do think he signed a bad boy. I, I do know Diddy. He's probably ghost for Diddy over the years, etc. Mm -hmm. Long story short, Diddy was uh, found by the paparazzi walking down the block oh, and yeah. King Los next to him. And I, I implore y'all to go watch this video. Yeah. The moment King Los sees that paparazzi, Try to see that he is with Diddy, yeah. he start turning, he start he turning around looking back like, hey, ain't nowhere to go, Los. Yeah, there was three people with him. It was three people. Sorry, hey, two Los, people. Look straight. Three total. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. ain't nowhere to go. But again, also I've seen people in the post that he's posted about, yo, you know, Tom will heal all and all of that. There are yeah. a lot of prominent celebrities underneath those comments expressing their support. So, yeah. question for yeah. you. Yeah. So, um, Stevie J, uh, I think. Um, he's a weirdo. CNN. Was it CNN? Yeah, been weird. There was a, a, news, or a news video. I mm -hmm. think it was CNN. Mm -hmm. um, came out with like, you know, pe showing people that were kind of sticking up for Diddy. And um, Stevie J was one of those people. Oh, that's um, for sure. In the interview. My question to you guys is, what do you think? Like how how should we perceive that? How is that supposed to be seen now that like everything's you know out in the open? What you mean? Like Ev like from Stevie J's point of view, like since you were kind of he should shut the fuck up. Yeah, everybody. Because what I think like with with this situation, there's a lot of unknowns. Yeah. Right. So Stevie J could have been around Diddy, and Diddy may have never showed that side to Stevie J. He he may not know, but he may have an inkling. He may have heard, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you watch Love of Hip Hop, that, that's why. I, that's I why. CVJ is a part of the Creep Squad. Yeah. Oh my okay. gosh. The that's title. Right. The title. That's what they that's call what, themselves. That's what they call yeah, themselves. I forgot. Yeah. It was him. Uh, was it Peter Guns in it? it? Uh, no, no, no. Peter Guns was in New York. Okay. But that's uh, ATL. So it was him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if Scrappy was in it. I don't yeah. think Scrappy was in it. But yeah, I, th I think you're, right, you're referencing the New York, Love and Hip Hop New York. But. Yeah. When Stevie G do his lips like this. Yeah. All that freak <laughs> shit, nah, I, I believe it for yeah. sure, for sure. I mean, I could see why some people blindly did always support Diddy. Like his kids, like they never saw that side of him. But people like Stevie J, they see it now. Mm -hmm. So to see that come out and then defend him afterwards is just like inexcusable. Like why? I'm, like what? what is going on nah, I'm glad yeah. I have a dad. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Nah, because nah, yo, what if that was Damn. my hero? <laughs> Damn. And then you find out like <laughs> he's been doing all this. Like <laughs> what, do, what the fuck are these kids going to like? That's what I'm how, saying, right? What are they thinking right now? Like, Even if Diddy did such a good job. Job talking to him like, oh, it's bullshit, y'all. It's nonsense. The I was thinking about that. Yeah. You know, even if he did such a good job of just masking that from his he kids, he definitely did, right? Like, Gina, was, yeah. Gina in her interview with Tasha K, uh, Tasha asked her like, yo, had he ever done this in front of his kids? Right. Her answer was no. He would never allow his kids to see yeah. him like that. But he would do it in front of my daughter. He's mm. done it in front oh of my, my daughter. Oh my god! And my daughter would call him Poppy, and she asked me, Poppy? hey, did Poppy hit you? Oh, wow, that's did, it. Did Poppy hit you? Get a rights to bad boy to you catch him. That's it. Again, and all of this is documented. All, yeah. all of this is documented. All of this is in that interview. I think the interview is about four or five years old. It's mm. on Tasha K's um, YouTube channel. But I watched all three parts of that interview. Yeah, was, and I saw how sad. the lack of media training that that woman had, I think at that time in her life, again, from what I've seen, they've <laughs> reconciled since that interview. But at that particular moment, that was somebody who was scared, who was vulnerable, who was yeah. preyed upon, who felt like she needed to say something, to be heard, to be felt, to to implore, to give strength to other women because she felt like she was a victim and she was a victim. Yeah. And she almost cried at certain points in the interview. Yep. She said certain things that we've heard and some things that we haven't heard. And at that time, again, when you're so powerful, when you're able to get things thrown under the rug and you're, you are Diddy. Again, the name, the, Diddy is a verb. In yeah, our culture. For sure. You get what I'm saying? Diddy it's not Bob. just a person. Diddy is a lifestyle. Puffy is a lifestyle. So it's hard to go up against somebody. Now, again, talking about his ex, Gina, who, again, he was dating while he was with Cassie. Mm -hmm. This is a girl who moved from Vegas that lived in Nebraska. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So moved out the sticks. Everything <laughs> that she ever wanted was yep. somebody in the Diddy. Absolutely. So if I'm gonna fund your lifestyle, mm -hmm. what what choice are you really leaving me when I'm that young, yeah. impressionable, vulnerable? Mm -hmm. And again, I, I don't know what she was into because I see a lot of people talking about, oh yeah, Cassie was a freak too, and she was this and she was Stupid. that. 
I mean, stupid. she was forced. Regardless like, of what her <laughs> interest is, <laughs> there's so a way stupid. to be a consensual freak. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, like, I don't understand when <laughs> when niggas start talking like that, that to me. I'm so like, bro, it doesn't. None of that matters. Yeah. People forget it's not that the time for that. People like. forget that Diddy poached Cassie off of Ryan Leslie. Yeah, and in that interview, <laughs> he didn't even mention Ryan Le- Ryan Leslie at the table. <laughs> it was like a video of them of Diddy basically introducing Cassie uh, to the board. It seemed like, and then uh, Cassie was sitting right next to Ryan Le- Leslie, and Diddy did not mention Ryan Leslie. <laughs> so again, the relationship between Cassie and Diddy has probably always been a relationship of one in power and one listening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So to call her a freak or oh she was down with it too, what choice did she have to what what choice did yeah. she have, brother? And, anyway, they on Twitter. It was twi- sickening. They it was, was sickening. They on Twitter, they on Twitter <laughs> saying uh turn him into a eunuch. Cast- castrate him. Castrate him. <laughs> one ball. One ball, no ball. No ball. You watch Game of Thrones. You remember, you remember the unit going there? Yeah, the ball nigga. Yeah, you know the one. <laughs> Cut his dick off. Yeah, you know the one. See how they do us? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, they got to do you like yeah, that. Yeah, because like, what can happen? Because he's not, oh, but there, there's like <laughs> further, further investigation. Further investi- okay, because yeah. I was like, That's once the lawsuit really. ended, I was like, he's not going to go to jail, but now yeah. there's there's pending, never mind. Right, never mind. like LA, LA County. so much, and that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. There's Kim Porter's passing that have a lot of speculation around that. Again, people are speculating at the fact that why is a rich black woman passing away from pneumonia? Pneumonia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In her 40s. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think that's a valid question. There's so much. And 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 honestly, I feel bad for his children, like Reggie said. And I know we we spent quite some time on this, but I feel like there's so many different components to the story that maybe other people aren't touching. Yeah. But think about like you said, you, <laughs> you, you just thank God for not having a father. Thank God. What no. if that nigga was supposed to be my hero? Oh no. my God. What am I going to do? How am I going to back? I would have been destroyed. Like, it's like, it's very, back? for me as someone who like, I'm obsessed with my dad. Like yeah. it is very hard Same. to like, I, as an adult, um, I've, I'm very good at this now, seeing him as like a human being who makes mistakes, all that. But growing up, like, he was such a great dad that I saw nothing but a great dad. So Diddy's kids, they see nothing but a great dad. So it's very hard to accept anything else. Right. Like what could he what, what wrong could he possibly do? Right. But this, now they have to just really like accept this i can't imagine what that feels like because me like even just seeing the mistakes some, my dad has made that was hard for me but this i can't imagine on this scale imagine. like ha- like psychologically i don't know what like i don't know how they i don't know they have I don't to know, like publicly disassociate themselves with their father yeah that's publicly. crazy because that's their dad Public, like, that's what I'm, yeah publicly they have to disassociate themselves well. disassociate themselves with their father yeah or privately, they have to have some real nigga conversation. For sure. That they may not be able to because, again, somebody who, who has a father, and I'm, I'm blessed with, my dad, he keep it 100 with me. Right. I know his flaws. I know his shortcomings. I know, I know all that. You get what I'm saying? Like, we have, that conver- we have those conversations. Yeah. I, there's nothing anybody can tell me about my father where I'm like, eh, eh, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you've talked to him. There's about a it. certain dynamic that they should have created amongst themselves, even if you want to lie to the public. Don't have your son out here making diss tracks on your behalf, like, knowing you did what you crazy. did. Yeah, like crazy. Ad living on the song. Ad living on the song. <laughs> crazy. Like you, it, it's just no way. So, I heard a lot of people say this about Diddy. It's over. The business, the 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 fame. The fame is not gonna go nowhere. So, because you're always gonna be famous, you're always gonna be synonymous with some of the bullshit that you did, the evil that you did. Also, it's not over as far as the things that'll be revealed about who you are and not what you've done. Yeah. Not at all. Those things that continue to come out. I have breaking news on to, uh, now that you mentioned that. Um, so, uh, Spiritual Word just confirmed that 50 Cent's multi-part documentary about Diddy's uh, report uh, about Diddy has been reportedly sold to Netflix after a bidding war between like a bunch of different. Holy he was serious. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was joking. Oh the the God. Diddy do it documentary. Did he do it? Did he not? Oh my Yo, God. wait. Okay, I have a question. Like, <laughs> like 50 Cent is crazy, but like he's been one of the biggest like vocal people about this Diddy saga. Like everything mm-hmm. that happens, he's on it. Like he's mm-hmm. commenting. But is there is there nothing that 50 Cent has done that he's worried about coming out? Or is, do you think he's like... That's a good question. I don't I mean, know. We, the thing like, is, we don't know. We've heard things like... I, I recently, 50 Cent, he actually... Um, I want to say he sued his ex, his, his baby mom, for saying that she alleged that he raped her mm-hmm. and abused her. Right? Like, we don't know. Now... When people settle in that way, and I heard somebody, I do want to shout out Maul, because Maul said this on his podcast. 
if I'm being accused of something and somebody says, yo, you did X, Y, and Z to me and I know I didn't do it, I'm not going to settle. Yeah. Because the, the person that I am, I know that I've done, you're not going to get it. I would rather spend every dollar that I have mm-hmm. to my name fighting yeah. for my name yep. opposed to settling with you, right? That's a given, yeah. So in regards to 50 Cent, she said whatever, she claimed whatever she did about 50, but 50 said, I'm going to sue you for saying this. Mm-hmm. Okay. You get what I'm saying? I, and, and I don't know. That's the thing with these celebrities and with these people in this industry. We really don't know until we know, mm-hmm. but I think mm-hmm. there are hints mm-hmm. and a hint to all of us as a culture. We say, God damn, that nigga did he settle fast as shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How the fuck you settled 30 plus whatever X amount of realize, undisclosed yeah. amount the next day? Yeah. That raised flags. Yeah. But again, we didn't have the proof. So we just had to use context clues. We had to use how we felt about it. And again, salute and roaring them all because they were one of the first people to actually sit there and say, wait, hold up. Him settling so quick, that's fishy. That's weird. Fuck that. You can't get money out of me if I know I didn't do this. Um, and, and I agree with that stance, right? Like, yeah, really. I'm a fight for my name. I know what I did. I know what I haven't done. Right. So I, I, I get that. That's immediately what I thought when that when the lawsuit was settled like 24 hours later i was like see he did that shit like he does not want this to go anywhere but then so, what really like irked my soul so much was that like when that happened i remember the thing that people were saying the most was like see all cassie wanted was money like i yeah, remember don't let don't people like everyone was saying that, that on the timeline and i was <laughs> i was yeah. so I was mad, frustrated because i was like yeah. it's not about money i swear like she just wants to start a movement this, this and is, now look this isn't a topic to be yeah. service about this is very, very layered on every front on why he got arrested, on how long he's been doing this. Like, this is very, yeah. very layered. This is not new. 